In this video, we're talking about subqueries in SQL. All right, so let's get into it. Now, I have to apologize in advance. Subqueries are kind of complicated, and this is like an overview of three different ways you can use subqueries. You probably will have to do a little bit more research to fully understand how subqueries work, but this video should get you pointed in the right direction. So in this video, we're gonna go through three different scenarios of using the subquery. We're gonna use it in the select statement, we're gonna use it in the from statement, and we're gonna use it in the where statement. So you'll see three different locations where the subquery could be used. All right, so first one, we're gonna do it in the select statement. So select customer ID freight. And I'm looking at some notes on my other screen because Otherwise, I'll sit here and think things through for a while and you don't wanna see that. All right, freight. And then we're gonna do our subquery here. So we're gonna do a select statement right inside of our select statement. Select, and I'm gonna do average freight from orders. And then this one is from orders. And it'd help if I spelled orders correctly. So I was calling the correct table. So basically what we did right here was we pulled in the customer ID, we pulled in the freight for that customer on that particular order, and then we pulled in the average freight for all orders from the orders table. So you can see it's all the same number because the average freight from all orders in the orders table is gonna be the same number. Now you could do something similar to this using window functions and I'll have another video on that later on. But this is just an example scenario of one way you could use a subquery inside of your select statement. All right, so moving on to our next query where we're gonna use a subquery in our from statement. So to do that, let me pose a question real quick. What we wanna figure out is the average number of orders per customer per country. So that's the question that we've received. So let's try and solve that for our customer or our client. Uh, the first thing we want to go ahead and do is do a select customer ID because we need the customer ID information if we're doing it by customer per country. And then we'll do ship country to get the country right. And then we probably want to do a count all to get the number of orders from the orders table as num orders. So that's gonna be the, the count of the number of orders from the orders table. And then we gotta do a group, group, group by, since we have an aggregate function up there, we'll do one, two, and we'll run our query real quick. And now we can see that we have our customers, uh, the country, the ship country, and then the number of orders per, per that particular country, per that particular customer. So we have our table that we're going to be working off of essentially and we're going to be using this as our subquery or our nested table inner table uh, to do our outer query on so this is our inner table we got customer id ship country num orders those three columns we've created now we'll do our outer query so we can do select and we're going to be selecting from our inner table here so we can select customer id ship country and or num, num orders here. So we can use, we can select our alias of an inner table. So that's pretty cool or a subquery. So that's pretty cool for sure. Now we wanna do, we wanna break it down by country, ship country, and we'll do average num orders. All right, so there's our two columns, fields we're gonna choose from. And we'll do our from statement, from. And we got our subquery down here. Let me go ahead and scoot it over. And we wanna wrap it in parentheses. And we gotta give it an alias as well. I'll just call it sub. It doesn't really matter what it's called. We're not referencing it here, but in some cases you would reference your subqueries if you have multiples of them. So just leaving it sub here. And uh, then since I have an aggregate function in our outer query here, I'm gonna go ahead and group by one. We'll run that real quick. And now we have a breakdown of the different countries and then the average number of orders per that customer ID. So per customer, per country, average number of orders. 
So now I know this probably seems like what the heck just happened, and that's how I felt for a couple weeks before I finally started to grasp this concept. So if you feel overwhelmed right now, don't worry. That is perfectly normal. You can study subqueries. Other places are, I mean, very popular things. And I highly recommend going and looking for other sources of subqueries so you can kind of wrap your head around it. But just remember, the inner query gets executed first and it generates the table that you're gonna do the outer query based upon. So you do this, it executes that, gets the information you need, and then you can query that inner table. Now, if I just did select all from my my other my inner table it'd give me my exact inner table like it just show me what i have right here which is the same thing as just running my inner query by itself right same exact things so that's that's how you can think of it is just you're generating a table and then you're querying that table with an outer query so hopefully that makes some sense and and hopefully you're at least grasping the concept that you're making a table and then querying that particular table also, real quick, the subqueries are a great way to do an aggregate, and then when you do your outer query, you basically do another aggregate, so you're doing an aggregate of an aggregate. So using subqueries is the best way that I know of to do an aggregate of an aggregate, like count, and then do an average of that count, like we did in the example previously in this video. So now this third example is easier to understand. We're gonna be using the subquery in a where clause. So let me wipe this out real quick. And we'll just do select all from orders where employee ID in, and then we can do our select statement. Select, select employee ID from employees where first name like lower percent percent a percent f5 all right so basically what we did here was we selected all of our orders uh where our employee id so the employee id is somewhere in here for our order oh here we go employee id so where that employee ID is in, and then we select an employee ID from employees where the first name has an A in it. So instead of doing a join where we're going and we're joining the employees table to the orders table, in order to get all the employees with an A in their first name, I could just do a subquery here and select all employees that have a, an A in their first name um, without doing the join and all that other stuff. So. That is how you can do a subquery inside of a where clause. And that's it for this video. I know it was a lot of information. And we covered how to do subqueries in the select statement, in the from statement, and also in the where clause. And hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, I greatly appreciate any likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope that you have a great rest of the day.